You're the one they're calling the Herald. If you know a way to make them stop, I'm all ears. I don't. These things have a way of taking on their own life. But I'm glad it has not run to your head. I did not join the Order to adjust my faith so easily. But I appreciate what the Inquisition is trying to do, and your role in it. Though you may find not many Templars do. We're a distrustful lot by nature. How did you come to be a Templar? It seemed the right thing to do. My family are tradesfolk in Denarim. I could have become a cobbler like my father, but this seemed better. It's a chance to uphold the Chantry's laws and help the mages through a troubled time. I'm surprised to hear that. Not all Templars want to make mages into prisoners or villains. Some of us just want to keep a balance and let you practice your craft in safety. One person trying to do something can make a difference. You should keep that in mind, Harold. I'd like your take on the Templar Order. It's a shadow of what it was. Where once we both protected all people from the dangers of magic, we now posture and grab at power. One day, I hope the Circles are again sanctuaries where mages can practice their craft. Do you have any idea what caused the explosion? No, I'm just a recruit. Belief and faith doesn't get you closer to the important meetings. Though, that distance did save my life. You're not going to rejoin the Order? When the Temple went up, your forces rescued those few of us still alive. My life is a debt I intend to repay, however I can. I will talk to you later. Walk in the Maker's grace.